Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is a live attack. It's been forever since I've done one. Um, this one's not going to be a whole lot of editing. It's on my laptop. I'm kind of on the go, but I wanted to get a live attack for you guys because I haven't done one in quite a while. Um, this is CWL, serious stuff here, uh, getting towards the end of the war. Looking pretty good for us. We do have 111 v11, um, and we are leading, I think, in 10 v10s. So um, we're in pretty good position right now but we want to add more 10 v 10s and give ourselves more 11 v 11 attempts um, so we're going to go ahead and try base 13 here um, i'll go ahead and show the replay on it because it was a queen charge hog attack which i'm not doing i wouldn't but it's worth taking a look at uh, how it went because i'm going to do a very similar queen walk uh, to what anakit did so drops down the queen and a baby dragon the queen does a very weird thing here, but I'm going to drop her in just a slightly different place, and I think that should take care of the problem, because for some reason she targets the builder's hut next right here. Um, very weird case of the AI acting weird, um, but she actually does go the right way, so even if this does happen for some reason, I'll just use her ability, and she should go up towards the top of the base, um, and that should be good, but um, I'll drop her a little differently, and I think... If I drop her a little bit higher up, she will not target the builder hut and just get pulled up by these buildings naturally. Um, so I'm going to make a small adjustment there, hopefully save um, myself from having to use the ability. I might have to use a rage on her. We'll just kind of see how it goes. And then um, I'm going to use the king to funnel on the other side. And around 2 o'clock, I'm just going to send in the Valks and the Bowlers. Um, so I'll back out here. This showed a few Tesla locations. The Teslas are on the outside of the base. But I'm thinking if I can just kind of push through the main um, part of the base here, um, get the Inferno Towers. It doesn't matter what's left up on the outside. I'll have enough troops left up to finish it off, especially if I have some healers left up uh, to heal my troops. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to drop the queen basically between these two buildings here. Um, I'm going to drop the baby dragon. I'm going to have a minion here and a minion here just to start to break parts of the funnel, take out trash, etc. Um, and then as soon as the queen's going, I'm going to drop my king on the left side of the barracks, two wizards on each of these, um, and then a baby dragon. The baby dragon, the idea is for it to... Actually, I might just drop both wizards on the gold mine. Uh, baby dragon's going to go from here to the archer tower because I need to get that archer tower taken out because the king might kind of walk down this way. But I need something to also kind of start taking out these buildings so it's easier for the Valks just to go straight from here into the base. Um, two to three rages depending on what the queen needs. Two heals. And uh, I got four of my own bowlers plus CC bowlers. Um, it's a typical CC comp with Baby Dragon, I think Witch Valk. Um, so I'll poison that, have a skelly for this Inferno. And I'm thinking the bowlers will target this once they get into the core, which I think they will. And then the king should start pulling stuff to the second Inferno. So I think the Inferno pathing is pretty good here. Uh, the important thing is that the queen does her job. I'm gonna drop her, like I said, right between these two buildings in that little inlet in the base. I'm gonna drop the Baby Dragon right on this gold mine. And um, we'll see how that goes. So anyway, I have all my troops and uh, let's go ahead and give this a shot once again not gonna have any music or anything unless i edit this which i probably won't um just gonna be straight up attack in cwl so i don't think i've almost i almost never record my cwl attacks but this is something a little special um looks like i have everything two baby dragons four healers got the valks um spells are good CC troops, um, heroes, all of that looking great. Okay. I might use my queen's ability initially if I need it. I think the rage is more valuable, especially with all the spam troops I have going into the base. But um, we'll see what the queen needs. Okay. And in we go. Alright, let's get these minions down. Then we'll start the queen. Minion, minion, queen, 
One, two, three, four, baby dragon. All right, we'll get the king going a little bit. Okay, she's doing that weird thing again. Rage her up if we need to. King. All right, everything is going in. Oh, that inferno barely went down. Um, things are looking pretty good. Still have quite a few Valks left up. Bowlers with a bunch of healers. I think this one is going to three star. A bit of an ugly three star, but a three star nonetheless, it looks like. Um, the Falcon is so overpowering. I'm sorry I didn't really talk for a while, and you might have heard like my dog snoring or something, but um, that is it. Raw, uncut, three star. Um, everything in the corners are taken care of. Just throw that wizard down. Boom, three star. Okay, that was awesome to get. Um, definitely going to help the clan get us another 11v11 attempt. And um, yeah, Falcon is very OP. Not even the best deployment, but I think good enough. I'm surprised the queen did that weird thing again um, where she went up and targeted the builder hut. I guess was unavoidable, but she still did the right walk. And I actually didn't even have to use a rage on her, which was nice. If you saw the last attack... Um, the attacker dropped a uh, used the ability and dropped the rage, but I was able to get away with just the ability there, so that was nice. Um, this one minion, I wasn't even thinking about how it would hurt the baby dragon, but uh, luckily, even the non raged baby dragon was able to create the funnel. Minion over here was just to push the king in towards the base. Um, then the queen once again does her thing, steps up, gets targeted, uh, drop the uh, or use the ability, she comes back out, which is perfect. I think a few healers got targeted, but I'm not sure I even lost any. Um, they just got a little bit low in health. Then there's the king with the wizards on the gold mine. Um, baby dragon to get in there, target the archer tower. Went ahead and dropped another wizard because the, the queen was kind of getting undercut by some of those outside buildings. And then boom, here come all the Valks. The king did a good job on the funnel. So they have nowhere to go but into the base. And because the CC troops came out in some weird way, the Valks hesitated before they entered, so that was a little weird, um, but they do all go into the base, and I think the spell deployment was great. Um, first Rage was good, heal, second Rage, just pushing everything through the base here. The Queen gets targeted by this Inferno, and I think it does get her taken out. Yeah, that, that was a little unfortunate, but it didn't hurt too much. And then I waited on this last Rage, I almost dropped it right in the core, but I knew they were about to go somewhere else, so I waited, dropped the Rage, a little bit lower and I think that helped those bowlers stay up a little longer um, the healers get raged on them and then plus all those Valks that left um, a solid like eight Valks going out to the left there so just overpowered um, the Falcon so powerful guys um, you really got to if you're base building at Town Hall 10 right now that's your number one priority is how am I going to defend the Falcon and then after that think about which bowler think about hogs think about um, La Loon, but all of that should be secondary to defending this strategy. But yeah, I'm probably going to try to record the end of this war, maybe the last like 20 minutes, 10 minutes or so. Not able to stream this because I am on my iPad, but um, I should be able to at least record it and upload it as a video. Uh, like I said, this one's coming down right to the wire here. Um, we have 111v11 and um, working on more both clans use 72 attacks i think they've dipped once or twice already now so they have a little bit more work to do but this one's going to be close thanks for watching i'll see you guys later bisectatron out